Hi, I'm Lisa Zbitnu. I was a 1982 graduate of the marketing program and I am currently the owner-operator of both the Phoenix Concert Theatre in Toronto and the Bronson Centre Music Theatre in Ottawa. This is my Humber story. One of the reasons I chose Humber is I really wanted to get into the workforce with some very applied learning. It was important to me to learn from mentors and leaders that actually came from the field. Probably one of the key pieces of advice for me was on communication, that regardless of what field you would be looking to move into following the program, that your written communication, your oral communication was of critical importance. My first job after graduating from Humber was at a small independent record label management company. I actually moved on to Alert, which was a management company and record company. It was, at the time, uh, a brand new label with Kim Mitchell uh, as part of the roster. From there, I moved on to Sony, which is a very different kind of animal, a very big international company that hired me based on working with a small independent to do their artist marketing. Uh, I moved from Sony to EMI for a period of time as Vice President of Marketing. Uh, and then I was brought in by BMG to basically function as uh, a general manager. So in a short period of time I was thrown this very big job of becoming president of, of BMG and then took BMG through the merger with Sony to become the head of Sony BMG, uh, which was uh, a, a large company, second in market share uh, in Canada, and representing uh, artists like Leonard Cohen and Celine Dion. For a moment in time, I did step outside of uh, the music uh, field and became CEO of War Child North America. War Child, it was a charity that was very involved in uh, the arts to begin with. A lot of the big fundraisers were, were concerts, uh, charitable records, uh, things that uh, I had already been working on from the music side and so the opportunity to step in and actually get involved with War Child on the ground, as it were, uh, was really exciting to me. So the Phoenix Concert Theatre has been a legacy venue for 30 years in Toronto. Prior to that it was the Diamond Club. Uh, obviously came here for, for some time as a fan, moved on to being a record company uh, executive that came to shows with artists that I was supporting or affiliated with and now owning the venue which it was is a really thrilling experience for me because I get to see all kinds of new talent that I might otherwise not discover. It's always nice to get recognized by your peers so music executive of the year, marketing team of the year, again people's acknowledgement is nice but my recommendation to anybody is don't get caught up in that. At the end of the day, you have to be able to look at yourself in the mirror every morning and pat yourself on the back and say, great job. Now, I'd also like to say maybe I haven't had my ultimate career moment yet. I don't plan, I've been at this a while, but I don't plan on stopping because I have the great fortune of loving what I do. So. You know, 10 years, ask me what my biggest accomplishment is, and maybe I will have had it by then. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lisa Zbitnu, and I am a proud Humber grad. <laughs>